How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have some very exciting 992 Cup action. This time it's around the Virginia International Raceway, the full course. I have some experience on VIR thanks to some of the rookie races and the VIR obviously being one of the free tracks in the game. And so this is not a completely new thing for me, but it is absolutely a new thing for me to be in a, in this uh, car going around VIR. Uh, obviously, the uh, 992 GT3 Cup car is very much not the Mazda or the Formula V, so it is definitely an entirely new beast. We jumped into this series uh, having a lot of fun, but I think we've come to the decision that I am pushing myself way too hard to try and overperform the car and what I can do in it. And so for this one, I decided to start from the pit lane, not to qualify, and we're going for some safety rating in this one. And it, it turns out to be one of the best decisions I could have made. And uh, I'm excited for you to see it. We only end up with one incident point in this one. And uh, I think we do a very good job of running a very good race and probably seeing what it really should look like most of the time. But I hope you enjoy. Leave a like if you enjoy the video. Subscribe if you haven't already and you enjoy iRacing content. And leave a comment down below what your preferred method is for gaining safety rating. And if you think that sometimes it's really easy to push too hard. But I hope you enjoy the video. I had a lot of fun in this race. We were just chatting the whole time. Really just trying not to uh, get too down in the dirty with it. And so it was a lot of fun for me and my chat. I hope you enjoy. And I'll see you afterwards. Check out the results. But for this one, I hope you enjoy. I'll see you then. Uh, the temptation of starting 12th is a lot, but I wish there was a start from the pits button so you didn't have to sit here for the whole time. All right, we're starting from the pits. We're fine. Green, green, green. I've heard the 296 is good. Can I go? I've never done this before. Hopefully I don't get in trouble for that. Oh, I could have gone way earlier. That's fine. <laughs> We're fine. All right, chat, lock in. This is gonna be us for 14 laps. Look at that death up there! That's what I'm talking about. We're avoiding everything. You bought way too many cars and tracks. Yeah. See, that's what I'm trying to... That's why I'm kind of focusing on one at a time. Like, for this season, I'm going to focus on this series. And then maybe even next season, do the same thing. But, uh, and then, like, slowly just accumulate them over time and not try and, like, go crazy or anything. To, uh... To spend that much money. Because even buying this car in all the tracks for this season on this series was $175, which is insane by the way like it's insane but uh so i'm gonna try and get the most out of this series as i can before i uh, go too crazy buying like a bunch of different stuff so we'll get there eventually it's just slow and steady slow and steady that that's a position that's two positions oh baby we're cruising now more death will come chat don't worry what I say they're coming back into our clutches didn't even do any races 
for the first year, really. Like just because, or, or just practice? Honestly, that's probably not a bad idea. I, honestly, I need to do just more dedicated practice sessions. Because I do, like, for better or for worse, I do most of my practice, like, in race sessions, which is not the way you're going to do it. But I, do, I need to spend some more dedicated just practice time. And I know that'll help me out, like, so much. It's just, it's hard to find dedicated time on my off days to do it. And, like, doing it on stream just doesn't sound the most, you know, entertaining. Alright. History is proved that this is the farthest I've made it into a race without getting an incident point. I was so scared of that guy. You're still a kid and your dad didn't want you to crash into people? I mean, that's fair. I understand that. But at some point, you gotta, you gotta go against other people. Like, that's racing. That's what they're like, the rookie races and stuff are for. It's, you know. Uh, we've caught up to the pack. We really need to be uh, careful here. Like I said, we, we don't care about losing I rating. If we do, so be it. I'm really looking to just gain a bunch of safety rating this one. It would go a long way for me mentally. As well as just get, you know, a good amount of practice in this car. It'll go a long way in the long run. You're two seconds faster. And him a lot. Jeez. Wow. That's crazy. Congrats. What, uh, what's your setup look like? You have, like, like, I'm still using, like, the Logitech G923. But I am looking at getting, like, a mid-level, like, direct drive wheel. But that's mainly just because I have adult money and nothing to spend it on. So, it's a whole thing. sim racing until a couple years ago at this point like my first sim game was f122 so like not even two full years ago yet and uh it's a lot of fun you have a fanatec dd1 nice do you like it AKA, like, would you recommend it? With Fanatec B2.5X. Very nice, yeah. I, I want to upgrade my stuff. I want to upgrade everything, but if anything, I know I need to upgrade my pedals because the more I've, like, used just the standard, like, Logitech ones, the more I understand that, like, I think I could gain a lot by getting, like, low cell pedals. great nice yeah i want to get a direct drive i think it'll i think it'll feel better plus it'll come with the new pedals and i think just for me like having something that can exert more force for me like will just feel a lot better in the long run WR1 sim chassis. See, that's another thing. I would love 
to have a space big enough for like a dedicated rig. I just have to do the clamp onto the desk thing right now because my office just isn't big enough. But I do, I want a, uh, I want a dedicated like rig for it. Alright, no incidents. Good. I think, uh... I wanted to save a little bit this year for some upgrade stuff. I think towards the end of the year I might pull the, pull the trigger and, like, upgrade my stuff. I'm really looking forward to it. Hopefully I'll be a little more consistent until then. Yeah, the Fantag wheel brake. Yeah, I've heard, uh, heard decent things. I haven't fully decided which ecosystem I want to upgrade into. I've been looking at Fanatec. I've been looking at Moza. Um, primarily, nothing too crazy yet. Um, still need to do some more digging and research and stuff. But it's coming. I'll figure it out. Do you have the, do you have like a handbrake shifter, H pattern shifter with it at all, or do you just do the the paddles? I always imagined it would be fun to have like an H pattern and a handbrake as just like an option to have. Like just for fun. if we need to. We're, we're taking it easy. We are not doing anything too crazy, too aggressive. We are chilling. pattern but I don't use it very much yeah that's what I'm afraid of I thought about getting the Logitech H pattern with this but I was terrified that I just wouldn't use it for much I think it has its uses but like in terms of like eye racing and stuff I don't know if I would use it for this I think I would use it for like more fun based sims like uh like beam and G or a set of Corsa or like have something like more fun than uh, serious. I drive a manual car in real life anyway, so it's not like I'm a. Uh, it's not like I don't get that uh, that it, that experience on the day to day anyway. So. chill out through there. I'm, I'm trying to get a little too quick with it. These two are scaring me, so I'm just going to wait until one of them makes a mistake. Welcome in. 
you have a DD one, but if you were going to replace it, you think you would look at Sim Magic? So I've heard Sim Magic as well. I haven't looked into them at all. Can you give me any of the highlights? Um, like I said, I've, I've looked into it a little bit, like basically just name. Uh, there's a YouTube channel I follow that I found that I cannot remember the name of. It's like Boosted something that like reviews hardware and stuff that I need to like dedicate some more like seat time to and watch time to to like try and get an idea because there's a whole lot of brands that I like never heard of until I like kind of started half looking this year. Yeah, Fanatec everything. Fair. I imagine it's probably smart to just go with uh, the same ecosystem for everything. Boosted Media, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like their stuff. CSLDD. I've seen that one thrown around a lot. Again, we're not making any risky moves. We are sitting here for safety ready. But you found DDL1 on Facebook Marketplace. See, that's what I need to look. I need to be willing to look at like secondhand. I think secondhand is an untapped market that like is like super useful. What I say, I'm just gonna wait until they make mistakes and then we'll go from there. I, uh, I'm, I didn't listen to my own rule. I, uh, I saw it happen, and I didn't get out of the way. That is a million percent on me. But it's only a 1x. That's all right. We don't care about position. We don't care about position. <laughs> we are here for safety rating. We got a 1x for that. Definitely not our fault. We, uh, made a mistake. Or they made a mistake. And we're back to it. So we're gonna finish the race with one incident point rather than 23 or whatever like the last one was. No, it's totally fine. Uh, this race, I think you missed the beginning of this race. This race is all about safety rating as well as practice because my safety rating has taken a tanking the last like week and a half. And so we're going nice and steady. We're not doing anything crazy. We're not making too many aggressive moves. I am here to churn laps, get used to VIR in this car, and we'll we'll make some pushes later in the week probably. But right now we are practicing, increasing consistency, more importantly, increasing safety rating. Honestly, make, getting me to focus on something else also usually just helps because if I just sit here and try and churn laps, I don't think it'll go very well. That's fine. We are, we're hanging out. I tilted way too hard. Last, there we go. We're back, position, done. Now we have one less thing to worry about. Now there's a three second gap ahead and we're chilling. We're just running consistent laps, we're chilling.
is when you push too hard and get out of your skill. It's a skill issue. It's literally like if you skill issue yourself, then it's your own fault. Like I skill issue myself all the time pushing too hard when I should just be working on increasing consistency and then I'll focus on speed later. job starting from the pit lane yeah I'm telling you like this is it's it's funny to say but like honestly I feel like half the races in iRacing are like if you just survive you'll do well and like that's literally been my goal this entire race is like if I just survive don't make any like catastrophic mistakes and let other people do then eventually good things will happen like sure I'm not gonna be challenging for the win or anything but We'll be gaining safety rating, gaining practice, gaining confidence, experience, love and life, chilling. We're, li we're living it up. You think, dude, I have heard that. I thought going into this, into this car, that uh, it was gonna be one of the easier cars to drive. But ever since I started, everyone I've talked to online, and like on YouTube have been like, oh, that car is like one of the harder cars to drive, like in iRacing. And it's like, really? And so it's a, uh, yeah, I can definitely agree. It is a tough car to drive, like fast. But if you can, I mean, that's why I got to my goal, right? Like if I can just get consistent, then the speed, I think, will just come naturally as time goes on. Because, I mean, this is only, like, the fourth, going into the fourth week I've been driving the car. And even then, it's only been, like, uh, like five races or something. Like, it, I've not done a lot, of, a lot of races in this car yet. And so it's still very new. Formula lights are at Road Atlanta. Turn one are so chaotic. Oh, dude, I can imagine. Turn one, so Road Atlanta was the uh, the track before VIR um, last week. Turn one and two are some of the most chaos I saw on iRacing to date in this series. Like, it was crazy how, uh, how bad some people were at it. That's honestly one of the reasons why my safety rating is, like, in the dirt right now. That was a decision. All right, only a couple of laps left. Oh, we got a blinker up there. So like four car crashes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's such a crapshoot with like, if you're just gonna survive turn one. And especially in like some of these races where they take like 20 plus minutes, it's like, it's so disheartening. So I get taken out in turn one and like, basically like your race just be over with. But at the same time, like that's real life. Like if it's that frustrating, like in a sim, imagine how frustrating it is in real life. To like have your race just be done immediately like you do all that prep and uh that's just it like it's all over right at that moment that's crazy to me the idea of that
Ah, we're good. Chillin'. Isaiah, how we doing, brother? Isaiah's a little nervous. You can tell he's locking the uh, the fronts a lot. We're not gonna we're not gonna make a pass attempt on him, but if we uh, if we can pressure him into making a mistake, we'll take it. After this, gotta go back. Absolutely, I think this will probably be my last one tonight. Anyway, I had a long weekend last weekend. I have a long weekend ahead. I have some stuff I need to get ready for, and we did a couple of races tonight. We made some new friends. Unfortunately, this is gonna be, I'll talk, I'll touch on this a little bit more after it's over, but this is gonna be my only stream this week. I'm gonna try and get YouTube videos up for the whole week, but I don't even know if I have that much footage, honestly. I might have to record some stuff offline. But I know Wednesday will be the F1 predictions video for this weekend in Japan. Looking forward to that, super excited. And then I'll probably have a Road Atlanta GT3 race up. From uh, last week, I think I have some footage from that that I need to do. And then... Got a lot of fun? Good. I, I'm, I'm glad. That makes me... Uh, that's exactly what I like to hear. So I, I normally stream Mondays and Wednesdays around 7 p.m. Central Time in the U.S., um, I don't know the conversion on that. We have a we have some international viewers as well. I don't know where everyone is, but so around 7 p.m. Central Time in the U.S. Um, if you're interested in doing that conversion for wherever you are, go for it. And I stream Monday and Wednesday. A lot of I racing or Sinel, who was here earlier. We do we have a two-player co-op career in F1 23 that we're that we've been doing. Although we've kind of really cooled off on that because. Uh, F-123, I think it's just kind of running its course. I want to start doing some Estetto Corsa competiciones some more. And uh, and just iRacing. Like, I'm, I'm having so much fun in iRacing right now. And so, uh, it's been a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to, uh, to continuing. No, 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 okay. Woo. You live in the S? All right, dope. Oh, yeah, you mentioned that you'd driven here. So, I guess that makes sense. But you never know. I also say that just in case anyone else is hanging out, anyone who's interested in, and hit the sub button. I know I've gained a, a handful, of, a lot of subscribers here in the last few days. Um, so if anyone has stopped in, just give them the give them the schedule. You know, Mondays and Wednesdays, Fridays. I used to stream on Fridays, but Fridays, man, I was always really re wanting to just relax, and uh, I'll use Fridays to, like record some dedicated stuff. I have some dedicated series that I've been doing. That I'll do footage for, or I'll just edit on that on Fridays. So, if enough people come around, if uh, not to be like, oh, if I make it as a big enough streamer, content creator, we'll start doing it on Fridays again. But I'm definitely open to it. But guys, that was it. 14 laps of VIR, starting from the pit lane, and we finish P8. We finish P8. What a race! <laughs> what a result! Let's go. Starting from the pit lane, like 20 plus seconds back, because I just didn't start correctly because I didn't know. But let's go, P8. Woo! Absolutely killed it. And well, we were just we were just messing around the whole time, guys. Plus two point point. Sorry, two point nine would be crazy. Plus zero point two nine safety rating. Plus thirty. I rating from starting from the pits, starting from well off the pace because I had never started from the pits before and I wasn't sure when I could go. So I really gave it a really gave it a chance. But uh, we that was third split, strength of field of 1194. So obviously we didn't gain as much as we would have otherwise. But at the same time, we had one incident point that wasn't our fault. 
that we tried our best to avoid, but unfortunately didn't uh, end up happening. We lost a, a little bit of momentum there, but starting from the pit lane, finishing P8 by just running really, hopefully, very consistent laps and uh, avoiding all of the other dangerous people out there, as we saw with some of those incidents. So this is uh, this is a really fun one. I'm definitely going to need to do this again. I want to get a nice buffer on my safety rating if I can. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.